All right, my name is Jeff Olson. I'm the Art Education Director for Royal Talents North America, and today I'm going to share with you some information on our new products, the Van Gogh Watercolor, Metallics, and Interference Colors, and I'm also going to show how you can integrate some of our Rembrandt pastels with them for some unique wet and wet techniques. So the way I get started is I have some of the black Van Gogh watercolor paper, which is also new this year. It's a 140 pound watercolor paper, really nice and absorbent. And I'll go ahead and lay down some of the pastel real quickly. Don't need to cover the whole surface. And one of the things I can show you real easily, very quickly, is just how you can add a little water into the pastel and create a fun little wash with it. So you could actually create several gradations with just one pastel color and a little bit of water. The next thing I'm going to do is use a stencil. I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to show you what the interference colors look like just all by themselves. So I've got an interference red here. When you put it in the palette, it has kind of a pearlescent look to it. But on the black paper, you really get an explosion of color. If this was on a white paper, you'd barely be able to see the reflection of it. But you can see as I put it down right away compared to what it looks like inside of the palette cup there. Totally different experience. I'm just putting it lightly on here. You could use a sponge, you could use a paper towel. I've got a brush here. I'm going to take it a little over the edge and kind of mix it with the pastel. You can see how it mixes with that. Picks up a little opacity, which is fun. And then just the big reveal, of course. And you can kind of see how that interference really pops on the paper. The next thing I'm going to do is I've got some interference red there. I'm going to add some actual traditional red. I have a carmine, about an equal amount of that. And this is how most people use interference colors. They mix them with traditional colors to create more luminescence. It's like adding a bunch of little mirrors into your paint to reflect more light. You can see right away how the red starts to mix with the interference and becomes almost a pearlescent. And then we'll go ahead and pick another spot here on the stencil and go ahead and brush that in lightly again. Get a real rich, lush effect on the black paper. A traditional watercolor and black paper would look pretty dull because of the transparency of the color. The black kind of absorbs all the light so you don't get much reflection. So by adding the iridescence in it, you can work on this dark surface and still get a good reflective quality out of the pigment. And I'll show you that one as well so you see that nice red pop on there. If I just had the red by itself, it'd look kind of foggy and muddy. And then finally I'm going to show uh, one of our metallics. The metallics are wonderful and by the way all these colors, the interference colors and the metallics are completely light fast. They have our best light fast rating at a hundred plus years under museum conditions. So the quality is there for the discerning artist who's looking for something to be archival and they can mix it in with any of their other professional grade artist colors and not have to worry about that. So you can see how wonderful, this is a light gold. And I'm going to overlap another part of this again. It's going to mix with some of the red I already have on the stencil. I always tell people when I'm doing these techniques, the point is to see the working properties of the material, not to make a perfect stencil image. The stencil is just a vehicle. And the irregularities you get sometimes lend themselves to discovery as well. I'll pull that up and you can see right away. So even more reflective than the interference color. And then you can go back into it with the pastels. So you can kind of see the fun pastel texture underneath there. I'm going to take some of the green and where it gets a little darker I can overlap. And these are the same Rembrandt soft pastels you buy in open stock in these micro sets. They're half sticks. Just go back into some of the color, kind of create a little fade out there. I also have a wonderful trick. Uh, this is a uh, jelly roll pen from our family company at Sakura. And you can see it kind of makes a white mark. On this black paper, it's really fun to outline some of the shapes that you make with the stencil. 
create a little more definition. This is one of those things that you can get addicted to and sit and do this for hours. But you can see where I outlined it. You get a nice, a nice edge and a little more contrast in the design. So this is just one way that you can combine the watercolors with pastels. And it shows also, there's, there's a lot of black papers out there. I really enjoy this Van Gogh paper, uh, but a lot of people don't know what to do with it. And the pastel combination with the irid, uh, interference colors and the uh, metallic colors is just a great way to exploit uh, the qualities of it and come up with some really fun, eye-popping designs. And thanks for uh, spending time with me. Appreciate it.